Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss continuation of proof statements. In yesterday's video, I explained why statement. We will continue the remaining proof statements. The second proof statement is do while. That means we have to use do keyword and while keyword to work with this do while. The syntax of do while is like this. Syntax means how we have to write do set of start set of statements. Then while of condition. This is the syntax of do while. So in which cases we have to use do while? Same. When you are going to work with series of values 1 to 20 or 1 to 50, 10 to 1, these type of series we have to use either Y or do Y. For example, if I have to print this first series of values 1 to 20 using do Y, how we have to write? I will explain with the example. Again, when you are going to write programs like this, when you are going to write programs in this type of problems, first check what is the series of values we have to print. We have to print 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 20. Okay. What, what, type of, what type of series of values I have to print? Integer series. Integer series values. So take one variable int i or int x or int j any variable. What is the first value in the series? 1. Initialize that 1 to i. This is called initialization. Over. Next. Now I have to print the series of values using do while. Write do. Print f. We have to print value. i is what a value? Integer value. Use percentile d. Comma i semicolon after printing one i have to print at two after two i have to print at three after three we have to print at four value is increasing so we have to write i equal to i plus one or simply like write i plus plus also okay up to what i have to print what is the last value i have to print 20 now we have to write while of condition i less than 21 you can write. If you want to use less than or equal to you can write 20 years. Like this we have to write. I will explain how it will execute. We have taken one variable. What is the variable? i. What is the value of i? 1. i value 1. Do. Let's come here. Print a print. Percentile D integer. i value 1 printed. i equal to i plus 1. Come here. i equal to i plus 1. Substitute value here. i value 1 plus 1. What is the value? 2. Where it is stored? Under the name i. Now i value become 2. Come here. Why i less than or equal to 20? i value what? 2 less than 20 condition. True. Okay. This do I is called what statement? Loop statement. What is meant by loop? It will repeat. Again, it will go on to check. Do print f percentile d i value. 2 printed. Next i equal to i plus 1. i value. Now what? What is the value of i? 2. 2 plus 1. 3. We have to write like this only, then only you can clearly understand. Now i value become 3. The value of i become 3. Okay, again, do close. Why i less than 20? 3 less than 20 condition, true. Again, 3 will be printed. Like that 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
up to 20 printed. Now i equal to i plus 1. i equal to i plus 1 means, okay, after printing i value, what is the i value? i value become 20. Now 20 plus 1. What is the value of i? 21. Now i value become 21. Again, what you hear? While i is not equal to 20. 21 less than 20, condition false. Come out. It will come out. Okay. Like this, it will print. Some of you raise one doubt, sir. While printing values side by side, I have to provide some space in between values. Normally, we can use slash t here. If it, I think you know about slash n, new line character. You can use slash t while printing values. Then, slash t means tab space. If you press tab key from your keyboard, after printing a value, if you okay, after typing a value, if you use tab key, if you press tab key, whatever it is blinking here, this is called cursor. This cursor is moved eight locations. Tab means from current location, it will move eight locations. Cursor will be moved eight locations. If you use slash t after printing first value, when it is going to print second value two, it is going to maintain eight spaces. When it is going to print next value, it is going to use again eight spaces. Here, I can use slash t to maintain space between one value and other value. If you are going to use slash t, you are going to get eight spaces gap between one printing value and other printing value. So, not like that. I want to give three spaces gap between. First, I print one. Then three spaces, two, then three spaces, three, like that. Use percentile 4D. If you don't want to provide eight spaces gap, use percentile 4D, comma, I. Percentile 4 means whatever value I am printing, the width of that number is four digits. But one is having how many digits? One digit. It is going to use one digit space. Remaining. 3, it is going to use spaces. After that, 2 will be printed. 2 is having how many digits? 1 digit. Okay. So, 1 digit space, digit, digit is printing. Remaining, what is the width of that value you are printing? 4. Remaining 3 spaces you will get. You can print like this also while printing values. The same thing, percentile 4D, percentile 3D, you can use. Slash D also you can use to print values by maintaining space between one value and other value. Now you will get one doubt. Sir, in while also it is printing values from 1 to 20. In do while also it is printing values from 1 to 20. What is the difference? It is one of the very very important question. In case of while, how we are writing while we are write like this int i equal to 1 while i less than or equal to 20 we are writing printf percentile d here also i can use slash t 8 spaces tab space slash t means tab space comma i i equal to i plus 1 this is a way of printing series of values using while this is a program to print series of values using do while Sir, what is the difference? It is also printing 1 to 20. It is also printing 1 to 20. Two, two main differences are there. One is, while is called entry control statement. Entry control statement. Because when it is going to enter the block of statement, it is checking condition. Hence, it is referred as entry control. Whereas coming to do while, First of all, when we are going to enter into block of statements, we are not checking condition. After entering into block of statements, when I am going out, going out is referred as exiting. Okay, in English, exit means go out. Okay, the entry which is for going out is called what? Exit. Here, when you are going out from this block of statement, we are checking condition. Hence, do while is referred as exit control statement. First difference is entry controlled, 
second one is what exit control second one in while while is it is also loop statement do while is also loop statement because it will execute statement repeatedly it will execute statement repeatedly second point third point very very important point here in case of while the condition is true then only it will enter the block of statements the statement will be executed until this condition is false okay when the condition is false it will come out if it is true it will execute statement repeatedly first i value 1 if condition is check one less than 20 then only it will enter into block of statement if condition is false it will come out okay here it remains in case of while whatever condition we are writing if this condition is true only statements will be executed repeatedly when in case of do while here we are not checking any condition we are not checking any condition first we will enter into block of statement then check the condition that means without considering condition all the statements will be executed once now check the condition if the condition is true then only statement will be executed repeatedly if the condition is false it will come out in this case it will check the condition if true means it will enter into block of statements they will be executed repeatedly condition false means come out whereas in case of do while without considering condition all the statements will be executed once then it will check the condition. If this condition is true, then these block of statements will be executed repeatedly until the condition is satisfied. See, normally when you are going to work with while and do while, what we are doing is first, what the first value in the series I have to print? 1. Initialize the 1 to 1 variable. This procedure is called initialization rest up to what value i have to print this is called condition okay next two in the series of values after printing one we have to print at two after printing two we have to print at three series increasing or decreasing increasing so we have to increase the value i equal to i plus 1 it is called increment in the same way in case of do while also this is initialization this is increment this is condition that means when you are going to work with while and do while initialization is at one place condition is at one place increment or some cases in this type of problems after printing 10 9, 8, then we have to decrease the value. Decrement will be at another place. Suppose if I, in this case or this case, if we forget i equal to i plus 1. What will happen? i value 1, 1 less than 20 condition true, 1 printed, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, you will get infinite times. Sir, why will you forget? Normally, it is the tendency of human being of forgetting things. Actually, in the syntax of while and do while, this is condition. In syntax, it is there. Condition is there. Normally, we don't forget condition. Either we will forget initialization or increment decrement. If you forget anything, we will get unexpected results. That's why to overcome this problem, they have introduced first statement. Now, we will see that first statement. Next one is first statement. This is also roof statement. The syntax of for is like this. For initialization semicolon condition semicolon increment slash decrement increment slash decrement if there is a single statement in for block, no need of using start and end braces. If you are going to write multiple statement, then we should use start and end braces. Why we will use this? The same. 
Sir, I have to print a series of values from 1 to 50. How to print using for? Okay. For, first of all, what are the series of values I have to print? Integer series. Take one variable int i. Okay. Don't initialize here. Come. Now, we are using for. What is the syntax of for? Initialization. What is the first value in the series? i equal to 1. Initialization. Next. Condition. Condition is up to what value I have to print? Up to 50 we have to print. i less than or equal to 50. If you don't want to use less than or equal to, you can use i less than 51 also. No issue. Okay. i equal to 1. 1 less than 50. Condition true. Print f percentile d integer. If you want to give it spaces, slash t comma i. Okay. See. Take a variable i. What is the value of i? 1. 1 less than 50 condition true. 1 is printed. After printing 1, we have to print what? 2, 3. Then, what is the third one? Increment or decrement. In this series, after printing 1, I have to print what? 2. Then 3. So we have to write i equal to i plus 1 or simply you can write i plus plus also. First i equal to 1. Check the condition i less than 50 condition true. 1 printed slash t 8 spaces gap. For close. For is our statement? Loop. What is meant by loop? Repeat. First it will go and increase the value i plus plus. i plus plus means i value become 2. Check the condition. 2 less than 50. True. 2 is printed. Again slash t. 8 spaces gap. For close. Again go and increase the value. i plus plus. i equal to i plus 1. The value of i become 3. The value of i become 3. 3 less than 50 condition true. Print f. 3 is printed. For close. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Like that now i value become 51. Again 51 less than 50 condition false. Come on. If you are going to use y divided for this initialization, condition, increment, increment, three, three different places. If you are going to use for all are there in single point, single statement only. That is a single place. Normally, we cannot forget. For the sake of programmer, they have introduced for statement. The same way, suppose if you have to print series of values from 20 to 1. This is 1 to 50. Now I have to print 20 to 1. 20, 19, 18, up to 1. Using first statement. Again same. What are the series of values you have to print? Integer series. Int i. Next. We have to use for loop. What are the first value in the series? Initialization i equal to 20. Initialization. Next condition up to what value I have to print? 1. If you, can, you want to write i greater than 0, you can write. If you want to write it i greater than i equal to 1 also, you can write. i equal to 20. We want to print it. Print f. Percentile 3d means. Okay. One digit will be printed. Remaining it will give you two spaces. 3d or you can use slash t also. Comma i. You can write percentile 3d or you can write print a percentile slash t. So if you use slash t, 8 spaces. 3d means, okay, I think we are printing 20. Two digits are there. Okay, so it will occupy first digit place, second digit place. Actually, 3 is width, 3 spaces. Two digits it is occupying, one space will be given. I want to give 3, 4 spaces means, if you use percentile 4d, then I have 20 is having two digits. It is going to use two locations. Remaining it will give you two spaces. Okay. 20. 20 greater than 1. 20 printed. Okay. Next for close. After printing 20, what we have to print? 19. So, I have to decrease value. I minus minus. I value 19. 19 greater than 1. Condition true. 19 printed. 18. 
सेवेंटीन सिक्सटीन फिफ्टीन अप टू वन इज प्रिंटेड फाइनली आई वैल्यू बिकम जीरो ओके जीरो ग्रेटर देन अवर कंडीशन फॉल्स कम आउट दिस इज वे ऑफ प्रिंटिंग वन टू फिफ्टी यूजिंग फॉर लू दिस इज वे ऑफ प्रिंटिंग ट्वेंटी टू वन यूजिंग फॉर लू इन दिस केस सीरीज ऑफ एलिस इज इंक्रीजिंग सो वी आर यूजिंग इंक्रीमेंट इन दिस केस डिक्रीजिंग वी आर यूजिंग डिक्रीमेंट दिस इज रिगार्डिंग वाइल डू वेल एंड फॉर स्टेटमेंट गो थ्रू दिस वीडियो लाइक शेयर कॉमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू